Hey, everybody. Hey, you know, I want to start off asking, what's it like uh, preparing your team for a spring season? That's first, right? Yeah, I don't even know what month it is. Um, I, I just know we had a match tonight, so we, we had to prepare for that. Um, it's a weird time, but we had, a, we had a pretty substantial break in between the fall and now, so um, a little bit of time for our girls to reset here a little bit, and, uh, um, you know, it's just preparing and um, for an opponent like we're, like we're used to in the fall, and we didn't do it a ton in the fall, so I think it kind of helps with, you know, not necessarily being burnt out for the spring season. We only played eight matches, so um, nothing too bad in the fall, and we're excited to get the opportunity to play this spring. You know, what did you see from the girls tonight? Did you see any, you know, rust, any jitters coming in? You guys had, like you mentioned, you know, some time off here. So what did you see in those first couple sets? Rust and jitters. Um, I, I think I saw both. And um, they, they did a really good job. I, you know, there's a lot of ebb and flow in volleyball. And uh, there, there's a lot of points in matches that suck and aren't fun. And you got to grind through it. And uh, they grinded through it really, really well. So I was proud of them. And um, it's, it's ex excellent experience. Um, to be going to five against a really good team like LSU, especially for our young ones. So um, I, I was grateful that we had some moments of struggle and we were able to kind of grind through it. You know, I'd love a little insight. How did you prepare these girls, you know, for this spring season over that time off? I'm sure a lot of them went home for winter break and things like that. Right. Yeah. Just a lot of running of stairs every day is, is all we do. But no, um, just uh, we gave them a lot of, um, you know, autonomy um, over that break and um, we couldn't require activities, so we, we gave them responsibility to take care of themselves, and I wasn't worried that they were going to do so, and they came back in great shape. So we got back to training pretty quickly and um, took advantage of some um, time before school started to hit double days, and we did that and trained a good amount. And, um, you know, I think we as a staff are pretty good at managing uh, load and at the same time getting a lot out of our practice time. So did a lot of that, did a lot of preparation for LSU. My staff did a fantastic job of putting together a perfect scouting report and um, we'll be employing it again uh, tomorrow night. What's it like um, as a coach? You know, we talked we talked with Anna a little bit about it before, but what's it like having kind of that one-two punch with Anna and Kylie just going off today in terms of kills 24 and 20? Um, yeah, just give me a little insight on that. Well, it makes my job a lot easier when I've got two kids who get over 20 kills. Um, they're, they're both doing really good things. And I think in the beginning um, – Anna struggled just a little bit um, bringing the ball down into the block, into the tape. And I, I think at times she doesn't realize how high she's attacking the ball over the block. And when she's hitting high and hard deep into the middle or, you know, deep into the last third of the court, uh, she scores a lot of points for us. So um, I thought she played well. I thought she can refine some things. And um, I got to keep in mind, she's just a, just a sophomore. You know, I treat her as I treat Kylie and uh, they're, they're both doing really fantastic things for us. So I'm, I'm grateful to have those two on the roster. You know, we're heading back into having two matches in two days. So right. <laughs> what's the mindset, you know, going into the next one? Uh, you know, the, the mindset is this one's done. And uh, we've got to make some adjustments as a, as a staff. And, uh, you know, they, um, they started two girls in different positions than we anticipated. Uh, they, their lineup was a little different from the spring. But um, those kids who were in the same spots from the, from the fall, uh, we, we scouted pretty well. And. Um, so we'll change our scouting report just a tad uh, based on what they did tonight and we'll adjust and we'll be better tomorrow. Thanks coach. Thank you. Just uh, last question for me. Yeah. What, what do you, uh, sorry, I know my connection's not great. Uh, no, 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 I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, what, what are your expectations, you know, for this season? Obviously you, you ended last season or I guess, it's it's weird saying it but like the fall yeah. season um on a pretty high note you know four straight wins um your only two losses coming to Kentucky what what are your expectations for this team going forward and finishing out the rest of their season um I, I expect each of our girls to be great teammates and um I, I expect them to work as hard as they can all the time and and be the best that they can be um the, the, those are my expectations and um you know, time is of the essence here. And it's, it's one of those things that you'll never get back. And if we're not taking advantage of our time to train, then we're, we're not doing our job. So um, really my expectations for our girls to be taking advantage of that time, be grateful for the opportunity to train and um, at all times be fantastic teammates. Last call for Coach Taylor. Cool. Okay, guys. Coach oh.
You didn't go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> Coach Taylor. So in the first and fourth sets, there was just a lot of adjustments that needed to be made, a lot of miscommunication errors. What um, mm -hmm. takeaways from that will um, you be doing in practice uh, for the game tomorrow against LSU? Yeah, good question. And, you know, there were a lot of times where communication just fell through and easy balls, we were shanking all over the place. And, um, you know, I, I think I think those are uh, uh, kind of attributed to the jitters and the rust that we got to get off because it doesn't happen often in practice. But when the lights come on and people are yelling and um, it ups the stress just a tad. And uh, we, we've been in these situations before, but it's been a long time since we played a match. So um, I feel like tonight was fantastic for our girls and, and we'll come uh, tomorrow looking a little more polished and refined. All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks. See you tomorrow.